And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio. We're at West Point. It is branch week where the seniors here uh, have a chance to visit with representatives of different branches of the U.S. Army. And we have Major Brian McCoy, who's with the Cyber Division, very important new division, uh, branch of the Army. Uh, Major, good to see you. What's it like to be at West Point for you today? Oh, it's good. I love the weather here. It's perfect weather. Oh, we got a perfect day, good football weather. Uh, they have a home game against Morgan State on Saturday. Now, tell us about cyber. There is, uh, we see uh, tremendous resources going into a tremendous need. Tell us a little bit about, about the Army's new cyber branch. Okay, so again, cyber has been around since about 2015. Um, so it's a relatively new branch. And like you said, it is one of the branches in the Army that's uh, growing. The um, Department of Defense is putting a lot of money into that. Because as you can kind of see in some of the local news, that cyber is here to stay. And it is one of the new, newest battlefields um, out there. So it's only a kind of a natural progression that um, bad people would want to do bad things in it. And so from a militaristic standpoint, we need to be ready for that piece. Very good. Well, we've sat in on a couple of the training sessions here at West Point uh, when they have a competition with the NSA, and it's fascinating to watch everybody working over their laptops. How does someone learn to be a cyber officer or soldier in the U.S. Army? Okay, so that's a great point. So what we do is we do things like this, uh, recruiting throughout ROTCs and West Points and OCSs. We get out there and get that name out there, and then we assess those into the branch. Uh, some of the things that we're really looking for is those STEM degrees are definitely a plus, um, but given the, the ever-changing nature of the technology and the sp the space of cyber always changing. We're also looking for those critical adaptive leaders that are good at problem solving. Because as that new technology comes online, it may be the first time that technology is there. So we need those type of leaders that can adapt quickly and rapidly to help work through those problems as they come about. And we're always, in, in the radio show that we do, we're always uh, uh, concerned about this, just getting orders out to the field and, and getting information back on what's happening. Is that all part of cyber, trying to make sure orders go out uh, properly and that uh, you get data back from the field? Yeah, so cyber is kind of set up, um, it's kind of unique. There's three parts of the cyber piece of the cyber workforce. Um, offensive cyber, basically, as you alluded to, getting that, that information and data to move from wherever it needs to go to where it needs to get there. So within the offensive part, we want to do that within the enemy's battle space. Get those orders, see what those orders are. Take that information, exploit that information, draw that information out, maybe delete that information, maybe add in our own information. And then on the other, another piece of cyber is that defensive cyber piece, basically keeping the enemy from doing those same type of things to us. So to get that information as needed and protect it and make sure that it moves properly. And then the last piece is the environment, is the network itself, making sure that that information can be moved, can be stored, that 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 goes unimpeded. Very good. And uh, Major Brian McCoy, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your path in the U.S. Army. You started in ROTC. Tell us about some of the stops along the way, uh, leading you into the cyber branch. Okay, so this is a great segue. So within the cyber branch, there's two main pieces. The cyber branch itself is made of two different workforces. So the one we just talked about was the cyber workforce itself. There is an electronic warfare piece of that as well. Within the electronic warfare piece, our space that we maneuver through and around is the electromagnetic spectrum. So anything that receives or transmits energy is the domain that we operate in, preventing the enemy from the use of, say, radio frequencies. Uh, Wi-Fi frequencies, satellite communication frequencies, radar systems. We're looking to deny, degrade, disrupt those type of things for the enemy or protect those things for ourselves. So I'm actually an electronic warfare officer, so I work on this, that, the electronic warfare workforce under the cyber branch. So that's how kind of a little bit about my background. Well, it's a fascinating area and so important. What's the most important thing for the public to know about how the Army is going to protect the country uh, through cyber? Um, basically, as I was talking about, so within those two domains, keeping the cyber space uh, free and clear of bad actors that wanted to do mostly militaristic type things within the cyberspace against the U.S. government and the U.S. people, and then also protecting the spectrum piece, so in allowing us to keep our... Um, anything that transmits or receives energy safe from bad actors. Very good. Major Brian McCoy from the U.S. Army Cyber Branch. 
Thank you for uh, telling us a little bit about the branch, and thank you for your service from everybody at the American Legion. Uh, thank you for having me. Our pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point.